Okay, so a very good question was asked that in septic shock, when the vasopressor requirement in, is increasing, we use stress dose of steroids, particularly hydrocortisone in a dose of 50 milligram 6 hourly. So now when the patient is improving and the vasopressors are tapering down, so how we should uh, stop the uh, hydrocortisone? We should taper it down gradually over a period of 3-4 days or we should abruptly stop. So earlier, usually the steroids are uh, weaned off in a tapering manner, means like 50 milligrams 6 hourly, then on next day 8 hourly, then on next day 12 hourly, and then on next day OD, and then stop. This is followed at many places. But there, there, is, there are two studies. One is in April 2023 and the other one is in January 2024. You can Google it that abrupt versus uh, tapering dose of uh, steroids in septic shock, hydrocortisone septic shock. And both these studies concluded that even if we stop hydrocortisone abruptly, suddenly, it is on day one now is 50 milligrams 6 hourly and the patient is improving, vasopressors are tapering off and then next day we stop suddenly. So abrupt stopping of hydrocortisone per se doesn't impact the hemodynamic stability of the patient. So it doesn't harm the patients. So how we follow it? So usually if uh, tapering of uh, vasopressors is in a gradual manner, if the, they are very stiff and they are slowly, slowly uh, tapering down, we are not able to uh, taper down them very fast. Then in that those cases, we taper the uh, hydrocortisone in a tapering manner like 50 milligrams, 6 hourly, then 8 hourly day. But if the patient improves very fast, if the uh, vasopressors yesterday were on 20 ml per hour, today is on 10 ml per hour, tomorrow is now 5 ml per hour, then we can stop uh, hydrocortisone immediately in such patients. So, but you can follow either of the protocol, protocol both are fine, but we, we see the speed of resolution of the shock and then choose the approach in our practice. So, I hope this was useful. Do read more about it.